All right, so check it out, guys. I wanted to go into Drawing Bot V3 and show you guys how it works, at least how I use it. It's made up of a bunch of menu items on the left-hand side here. Uh, it looks kind of complicated, a lot of things to fill in, but actually it's pretty easy once you get into it. Matter of fact, you can collapse these down if you want, if it makes it easier. Let's just get these collapsed in. Really, the way it's set up is you kind of just step your, your way through these and you don't have to use them all, but it's a, an opportunity to do different things. So first thing we'll start with is the drawing area. So this will be your paper size. In this case, just for this example project, I'm gonna be using US letter. And then I'm gonna rotate the canvas over here to landscape. Let me zoom out a little. So eight and a half by 11 and then when you bring an image in, it's either gonna crop the image to fit or scale to fit or stretch to fit. So I usually hit scale to fit just so it falls in there. And then the other thing is you want some kind of padding around the edge, maybe, maybe you don't, but it just makes it a lot easier in case the pen goes off the edge. So I always put in something like a, at least a five or something here. So five millimeters off the edge, you could go more. I'll just do 10 just so we can see it. What you want to do is go up to file and go to import image and then pick your image. So in this case, we have uh, a nice image of Merry Christmas with one of our little robots sitting on the tree, scaled to fit. And you can see if I zoom out that padding around here, if I made this five, you can see it, it runs a little bit closer. That's not too bad. That still has some padding because the image itself has some padding around it. So that's pretty good. So, and I don't know every single setting on here, but I'm just gonna go through what I do know, at, the, at least the way I get it to work. So drawing area is done. Let's go down to image processing. This is where you would set up if you did want some type of a border or you wanna sharpen the image or, or add any kind of effects, you can do all that here. So these are the kind of preset ones they have in there but you can use, you can kind of adjust and make your own up here. They have all kinds of different ones at the bottom here. These, to be honest, I never really need to mess with. I usually work on my image in a, you know, GIMP or Photoshop or something before it comes in here. So I'm not even gonna mess with that. Just gonna try it right off of here. This, this is the fun part. This is where all the algorithms are for all the cool filters, how you wanna, how you wanna work it. So it, you can pick different ones here, um, edge trace, and then it starts to do its thing. You can see, okay, well, that's really cool. Different levels of gray, uh, black pen, um, and, and things like that. But one of the things I want to do in this particular drawing is I, I want to use uh, as few pens as possible, but still get the color that we're after. So before we get into different path finding controls, let's scroll down to the next one down here. I'm actually going to close this one. Scroll down to this one where we have pen settings. And you can see there are different types of pen sets that you can pick. Uh, this is Copic. You could go through and pick any of these different types of, of pens and it will give you different results. It's really cool. But I'm actually looking for something with some color. So just gonna go through and see. Okay, so here's something, has some color to it. So I'll pick these. now. So I don't want to have to go through and use, you know, six different color pens. I do want green. I do want red, um, but I don't need purple. I'm going to untick that or this purple or this purple. So three pens will be nice. It's actually already looking pretty cool. So you can go here, you can select these and then move them up. So what you can do is I've got black, green and red. And now you can do where you, you do the order you can do darkest first, lightest first, displayed, which is the way we have them here. We have black as the first pen, and then, and, and you can see it gives you different results, um, and then reversed. So I'm just, I think displayed looks good. A lot of this program is really just having fun, tweaking and, and trial and error. So since I'm not using these, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these just so they're not in a way. So you can right click and go to the context menu and delete. And then I'm gonna, so we have black again, green and red. And I have those pens here at the shop. So that's what I'm gonna use. You can see there's things we need to do here. That actually looks pretty cool, 
but the robot's eyes aren't showing up very well. So maybe we can tweak that. And then this down here is not showing up. Some of the finer lines, depending on what you pick, won't show up. So unless you tweak them and there's a, there's a give and take with each setting. So anyway, we have our pen set up here. Let's go ahead and minimize that one and go back to the pathfinding controls. And this is where you can tweak different things. So if you lower the resolution, you'll get less of a detail. You know, there, you have to kind of go through this and find what you're after. So I won't go into all this, but I will go into some helpful things that I think you'll, you guys will find helpful that I found helpful. So again, I'll go through and adjust all these um, settings. So one of the powerful ones is edge power. When you're really trying to get the lines, you can see I went down here and I tweaked this edge and I was able to get the robot's eyes a little bit better. So I think that looks pretty good. I've tweaked it, but there is a lot of black in here. So let me just minimize some of these and then go back into the pen settings. And you can actually set the weight of the pen. So if you double click that, you can, for instance, hit 50 and then you have to hit enter. And you can see you have less black here, but it's always good to hit the start button down here and just have it redraw. Uh, that looks pretty good. We're picking up and a happy new year and we've got the Roba, everything looks great. We're not gonna use too much black ink. It's red and green, it looks sharp. So. Sometimes, no matter how much you tweak the settings, some of the thin lines that you want to pick up, especially text, will not show up. So you might have to mask them out. And that's a powerful feature here where you can draw, click the draw button and draw around an area that you want to uh, take out of the picture here. So you see where it says the type, we'll click subtract. And then when we hit the start button, that's no longer in there. You can actually hide that. So then you could export the image how you want it to. But ours is working, so I'm going to just right click on this and hit delete and then redraw it. And minimize this. Okay, at this point, I really like what I see here. I'm gonna go ahead, I saved it. This is version three now. So what we wanna do is we wanna output this for the A1 Acro Drawbot. So if you go to file, you can go to uh, uh, many different outputs, but the ones that we're interested in are the uh, G-code ones. So we can, we can either export per drawing and we were gonna draw this whole thing with one pen. We would output the file as a G code here per drawing. And it would, in whatever pen you put in there, it would draw the whole thing. But in this particular drawing, we wanna output all three color pens that we have. So we can export per pen as G code. So I'm gonna output this Christmas card project V3 plot it, and it adds the plotted one to the back of it. Okay, so for this step, we wanna go ahead and set up a preset so that anytime we wanna use our A1 Acro, we can just pick A1 Acro. I already have one set up for the Acro, one for the lead. And all it is is a preset for these few settings that we changed down here. So let's go ahead and just set up over here on the right, we'll do new preset. So what we'll do is we'll call this A1 Acro. We're in millimeters, that looks good. Let's see, everything looks good there. G28 auto homing, let's select that and delete it. We don't need that. Everything else looks good, that looks fine. So we have Z movements here for pen up and pen down, and we know the Acro uses the servo. So let's just take that Z zero and put capital S zero. And then for pen up, we're gonna do capital S 250. And in my case, my pen up is 250 and S zero is pen down. And that's that may be, at least for the scribe, that may be pretty much a standard. If it's not, go ahead and go into control and go to the wizard and go to the servo tuning and see what your pen up and pen down numbers would be. And you can just plug them in here. Okay, everything looks good there. It's named, so let's hit okay. 
And now we have a preset that we can always select when we're using the A1 Acro. I'm gonna also just show you on the lead. So I have one set up where I'm using it on the router mount on my lead 1010. So if you scroll down, you'll notice again, we got rid of the G28 auto homing. Everything else is the same. The only difference is I put in Z negative one and Z three for the pen up. So if you guys are hooking it to your lead, that's a pretty good place to start. You can always fine tune it, but that's pretty good. Let me go back though and make sure we're in the A1 Acro. We'll hit okay. And you can see it goes through and it saves your, all three of your G codes and it names it black, green, and red. So we'll know which pen to put in for each G code. So at this point you would go to control, you would load the first G code black, put the black pen in, zero it out and start the first run. Let it go through the whole thing. When it comes back to zero, you switch the pen out, you load the green and then you run that one and then you run the red and then you have a complete image and it should look pretty cool. So that's how it works. Hope that helps you guys to get started. There's a million different possibilities just through this program alone. It's a lot of fun. So have fun guys. Thanks for listening.